Did you know that composting toilets are the most regenerative way to handle your waste? And when you're starting your off-grid homestead, you seriously need to consider using a compost toilet before you dig that septic or cesspool. Here in Hawaii, if you're unable to access the wastewater systems that the county provides, they actually encourage the use of composting toilets. So let's dig right into it. All right, well, this is my toilet set up here. Looks like any old toilet kind of, has a toilet seat and whatnot, but inside that box is my five gallon bucket. All right, when your bucket is full, all you have to do is just lift the lid of the toilet that you've made, put a lid onto your bucket, pull it out and take it to your outside compost pile. All right, so this is where the compost in action goes down. This is where all the buckets go when they get filled and they wait until we get a certain amount of them before we fill them into this pallet bin right here. So now we're at that point where we can empty these buckets and fill them into the bin. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off the little roofing that I have on here. This keeps the chickens out of the compost. Well, maybe not all of them. Seem like we got a little friend in here, probably sitting on some eggs to hatch, unfortunately. We're gonna have to scare that little guy out. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find out here. So that's the compost pile. This is a mixture of leaves and hue manure in here. And so far this pallet bin has been in use for about four to five months now. And we're gonna keep adding to it. So when we add to our buckets, uh, we no longer separate our urine from the poop. We found it to not really be much of a problem. It may be a little more yucky when you're emptying the buckets, but overall, composting wise, it actually provides a nice ratio between nitrogen and carbon. Okay, we finished adding everything to our pile. You can see that we even throw food scraps in here. Now, this, at this point, it's a little stinky. Once you get the leaves on top of there, that's when all the stink will disappear. All right, so I like to cover up that uh, poop manure, hue manure, with some uh, leaves from my garden. And I have these ice cream beans specifically for this purpose. The ice cream bean cherry is a nitrogen fixer. It feeds my other fruit trees, but also I prune it really heavily and when I do that, I leave the branches down on the ground, the leaves die off, and they're left for me to use in my compost pile. All right, that compost pile is getting pretty full of leaves now. So we're about done with that part, and the smell is really cut down already at this point. All right, you can see that we're left with a bunch of empty buckets. They're dirty now. And in a moment, we will clean out these buckets with some water. Now we pour out the water into our compost pile, and then we're going to give them all a secondary rinse. I'll empty these buckets into just a single bucket because they're not that filled with water compared to the first rinse. And then I'll begin to stack the buckets where I want them to be. And this is where the buckets hang out until they're ready to be used. I'll also give these buckets another rinse as I stack them just to make sure they're even cleaner. We've cleaned the buckets, we put leaves over our waste, and now all we gotta do is put the metal roofing back on to keep it safe from the chickens. I like to also use the roofing to Make sure it doesn't rain too much into the pile. We don't want it to leach too much out. So the roofing also helps keep it a little sheltered from the excess rain that we get out here. All right, we're all done emptying out our buckets. And now all we have to do is just put a bucket back in under our toilet seat and we're ready to go for another month. Okay, I like to prime the bottom of the bucket with a little bit of sawdust or peat moss, just so nothing sticks to the bottom when it goes time to cleaning. And 
and this toilet's ready to go. Well, that's how we manage our five gallon bucket system here on our homestead. We have about 12 extra buckets that give us a month between having to do that sort of a cleaning. There's four to five of us living here at any one time. I didn't mention we uh, like to use either sawdust or peat moss. A mulch doesn't really necessarily work in our bucket system. It's, it attracts too many flies. Sawdust is the best because you can find it locally from a, a local woodworker, but sometimes it's not always available. And the next best is uh, purchasing some peat moss. Thanks for joining me. I hope you understand how to set up your own compost toilet system. You got any questions, I'd love to answer them. Feel free to leave a comment below, hit like, and please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be updating it all the time. We're gonna be giving you all the tips that you'll ever need to start your homestead from scratch. Simple, easy to do tips that don't cost much money for you to get off grid and live in your dream. Aloha everyone, have a beautiful day. I'm heading to the beach.